on the list? Oh, they just describe various things they're going to do. There's some disgusting things on the list. Okay. What like, disgusts you? The thing that disgusted me most was a proposal for a self-healing minefield. Okay. And then some people say AGI could be massively dangerous to humanity because we just don't know what a system that's so much smarter than us will do. Do you share that concern? I do a bit. Um, I mean, obviously what we need to do is make this synergistic, have it so it helps people. And I think the main issue here, well, one of the main issues is the political systems we have. So I'm not confident that President Putin is going to use AI in ways that help people. Like even if, say, the U.S. and Canada and a bunch of countries say, okay, we're going to put these guardrails up, then how do you? Yeah, it's, it's particularly for things like autonomous lethal weapon. Okay. We'd like to have something like Geneva Conventions, like chemical weapons. People decided they were so nasty, they weren't going to use them, except just occasionally. But, I mean, basically they don't use them. People would love to get a similar treaty for autonomous lethal weapons, but I don't think there's any way they're going to get that. I think if Putin had an autom autonomous lethal weapons, he would use them right away. This is like the most pointed version of the question, and you can just laugh it off or not answer it if you want, but what do you think the chances are of AI just wiping out humanity? Can we put a number on that? It's somewhere between um, 0% and 100%. <laughs> okay. So I mean, on it, I, would think, it... I think it's not inconceivable. Okay. That's all I'll say. Okay. I think if we're sensible, we'll try and develop it so that it doesn't. But what worries me is the political system we're in, yeah. where it needs everybody to be sensible. There's a massive political challenge, it seems to me, and there's a massive economic challenge in that you can have a whole lot of individuals who pursue the right course, and yet they profit motive of corporations may not be as cautious as the individuals who work for them. Maybe. I mean, I only really know about Google. That's the only corporation I've worked yeah. in. And They've been among they, the most cautious. They're extremely cautious about AI because they've got this wonderful search engine yeah. that gives you the answers you want to see. And they can't afford to risk that. Yeah. Whereas Microsoft has Bing, and if Bing, if Bing disappeared, Microsoft would hardly notice. Yeah. You mentioned autonomous weapons. Let me give you a chance just to tell the story. What's the connection between that and how you ended up in Canada? Okay, there were several reasons I came to okay. Canada, but one of them was certainly not wanting to take money from the U.S. Defense Department. This was at the time of Reagan, when they were mining the harbors in Nicaragua. And it was interesting. I was at a big university in Pittsburgh, and I was one of the few people there who thought that mining the harbors in Nicaragua was really wrong. Mm. Um, so I felt like a fish out of water. And you saw that this was where the money was coming from for this kind of work. So that department, almost all their money came from the Defense Department. You started to talk about the concerns that bringing this technology to warfare could present. What, what are your concerns? Oh, that um, the Americans would like to replace their soldiers by autonomous, by AI soldiers. 
and they're trying to work towards that. Okay. And what what evidence do you see of that? I'm on a mailing list from the U.S. Defense Department. I'm not sure they know I'm on the mailing list. <laughs> it's a big list. They didn't notice you're there. Yeah. You might be off tomorrow. I might be off tomorrow. What's on the list? Oh, they just describe various things they're going to do. There's some disgusting things on there. Okay. What like, disgusts you? The thing that disgusted me most was a proposal for a self-healing minefield. So the idea is, look at it from the point of view of the minefield. When some silly civilian trespasses into the minefield, they get blown up. And that makes a hole in the poor minefield. So it's got a gap in now, so it's not fit for purpose. Yeah. So the idea is maybe nearby mines could communicate, and maybe they could move over a bit. And they called that healing. And it was just the idea of talking about healing for these things that blow the legs off children. I mean, and the healing being about the minefield healing. That disgusted me. There is this argument that though the autonomous systems might play a role in helping the warfighter, it's ultimately a human making the decision. Here's what worries me. If you wanted to make an effective autonomous soldier, you'd need to give it, you'd need to give it the ability to create sub goals. In other words, it has to realize things like, okay, I want to kill that person over there, but to get over there, how am I going to get over there? And then he has to realize, well, if I could get to that road, I could get there more quickly. So it has a sub goal of getting to the ro road. So as soon as you give it the ability to create its own sub goals, it's going to become more effective. And so people like Putin are going to want robots like that. And, but as soon as it's got an ability to create sub goals, you have what's called the alignment problem, which is how do you, how are you sure it's not going to create sub goals that are going to be, um, not good for people, not good for you who knows who's on that road who knows who's on that road and if these systems are being developed by the military the idea of wiring in some rule that says never hurt a person well that's they're being designed to hurt people do you see any way out of this is it a treaty is it what is it i think the best bet is something like a geneva convention but it's going to be very difficult I think if there was a lot of public outcry, that might persuade. I can imagine the Biden administration going for something like that with enough public outcry. But then you have to deal with...